Hello, my lovely learners. Welcome back to another session on the American English language and culture. I am Dr. Gloria Spieling, and I'm so pleased to be your teacher on YouTube. Remember, you can also book a session with me on Zoom. Just send me an email and I'll reach out to you for scheduling. I'm doing a 30 part series on the American English alphabet. We have 26 letters, but I'm doing a little bit of extra content at the end. So make sure you share these videos with friends of yours who are studying for their citizenship test in case they need to quickly learn how to read in English. I will be using words from the citizenship study materials so that you can think about the pronunciation and link it to something that you definitely have to use soon. We're on part 18 of 30 and letter 18. The 18th letter of the alphabet is the letter R. There's our big uppercase capital R, uppercase R, and our little lowercase r. Uppercase R, lowercase r. When you think about the sound, er, in IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet, that's how you express it. Er. Or in phonetic respelling, just er, er, r. We find that sound as the very first sound for the very first letter in the word rights, as in the Bill of Rights. Do you remember that from studying for your citizenship test? Rights, R I G H T S. This is a weird word, isn't it? Because rights, what about g, h, the g, h? Shouldn't those make some type of sound too? Well, they're silent. Rights. The way we say this word is just rights, as if the g and the h were not there. And we make that the long i sound. Rights. Rights. So now when you go to your test, you understand when you see r, i, g, h, t, s, you must say rights. Let's look at, oh, I have to change colors for this. The word R-E-D, red. It's the color too, isn't it? The color red. R-E-D. R-E-D. Remember when you see a letter, each letter represents a sound. R-E-D. Red. Red, 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 red. Let's look at one that gives a little trouble to almost all of my students because it's a long, complex word, but we're going to make it easy. First of all, we know it starts with the r, letter R sound. R, R E P R E S E N T A. T-I-V-E-S, representatives, as in the House of Representatives. Er, er, represent a tibs. This one's kind of long, so I won't get distracted by explaining everything about this word to you. For the sake of passing your test, you now know when you see this long word, it is representatives. R. And the focus here is the letter R. Representative. Representatives. Representatives. Thank you for your commitment to learning English and your commitment to your citizenship. This has been part 18. Letter R.